Hey guys and welcome. Wait, I feel like I got like stuff in the frame. Can't be having stuff in the frame now. Let me get this stuff out of the frame. Oh my gosh, it feels so good to be back. <laughs> Why don't you get it by now? Tell me what you learned in grade school. Give it to me like you want it. Did you forget that golden rule? Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's your girl Shanice Danae. If you are new here, welcome. Welcome, y'all. All the subscribers, all the new subscribers. I love you guys. All the people that are, have been showing support, commenting. I'm going to go through all the comments today, okay? Answer all your questions and I know that you guys have a lot of them when it comes to lock extensions, my life, all that fun stuff. And yeah, it's been it's been a journey. Your girl cannot wait to show you everything. And I feel like now that I finally have somewhat of the time to share like my journey, with my business is and um a lot. I, I kind of been like super quiet because I wanted to really honestly just focus on that. But enough for that. Let's get into this video. Okay, so I cut my lock extensions, guys. Um, most of all my lock extensions are completely gone. Um, I had a really good experience with the lock extensions, honestly. Like, I don't have anything bad to say about them. No, my hair didn't thin out. No, I didn't cut them for any specific, well, I did cut them for a specific reason. My hair grows super fast, and I feel like my hair was like literally at the tip of my butt, and it was starting to become a little bit uncomfortable for me to sleep. Um, and then, I don't, that's not the reason why I cut it though, because honestly, like, sir, I would wrap it certain ways and it wouldn't, it wouldn't bother me that bad. But then it just came to a point where I was just like, dang, like, I never experienced my locks being short. And so I just decided to just cut my locks and that's exactly what I did so I had cut my locks and I am so happy that I did I feel like ever since I cut them my hair has grown like maybe like three more inches I don't know what it is about my hair like I don't know why it grows so fast because I don't do nothing I don't have the time I don't even spray it so I don't even know why like it grows so fast but I'm definitely grateful I will show you guys once I take out my bantu knots I'll show you guys exactly how long my hair is I'll even put a little bit of clips in this video so you guys can see me like chopping it up because I was not playing games okay <laughs> I definitely chopped off a lot of my hair like the back of my hair was literally at, um, like just about at the tip of my butt and I cut it to like right here and now it's I don't even know where it's at so we're gonna find out together on the next video so make sure you tune in if you haven't make sure you subscribe I know that I'm like super animated and I feel like I'm running out of breath because I'm so excited to be talking to you guys because it's been a long time <sighs> I know I've been getting a lot of questions when it comes to lock extensions like Shanice my hair is so rough and I don't really understand why it's so rough and honestly guys like it might just be the hair that they use like I didn't really experience that I feel like the texture of my hair was not that much off I mean the texture of my lock extensions weren't that much off compared to my natural hair so I mean if I were you before you even get your locks installed maybe you might want to like fill them out a little bit again ask more questions like is this human hair or even if you have to like take an extra lock and burn it if you gotta like take it to the bathroom and burn it just to make sure that it's real I mean <laughs> that's the only thing that I can think about and those of you that your hair is itching like I don't I don't know like I just feel like there's just like a lot of like horror stories horror 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 stories that I've been hearing when it comes to lock extensions and honestly like i really did love my journey with my lock extensions like they were definitely my little babies but i i didn't really think that i was ever going to cut them because i got told you guys i said i'm never going to cut my lock extensions that's why they say never say never because <laughs> i chopped them off okay um i have been locked for a little over two years i think shoot i don't even know how long yeah I've been locked for two years so my hair has grown a lot and I also colored my hair y'all I know I said I was never going to color my hair so I've just been doing a lot of things that I said that I was not going to do honestly I think we all like we get to a point in our lives where we just want nothing but change I feel like I had so many different transitions in my life um moving into another salon um doing that and offering classes and just I don't even know like my life has just been so consumed with so many changes that I just felt like I just wanted a change with my hair I mean I always have been this person when I get bored I do crazy things and so um 
what I did was I had colored my hair well first first and foremost so I do have a few lock extensions left on the in the front um so what I decided to do was to keep my like the top of my hair a little bit longer so that way it didn't match too much with the back of my hair like I basically cut all the lock extensions off in the back and I know that makes probably makes no sense but I cut all the lock extensions off in the back I left um, a little bit of lock extension maybe about like honestly not even that much maybe like this much of a lock extension and I had colored those pieces and I only colored a little bit at the top because I know in the long run like I don't want my locks to thin out so I was like okay well this was me strategizing. I was like, what I'm gonna do is just keep a little bit of lock extensions on if I can, and I'm only gonna color or bleach a little bit of the lock extension. Well, I mean, my little theory didn't really work out much because I ended up cutting like more of the lock extension than I wanted to because to make it even and make it look right, I didn't really have a choice. So technically, I still end up coloring most of like all of my hair, but it is what it is. I mean, this is trial and error. Um, I don't plan on coloring my hair again if I I mean okay wait 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 I am gonna color my hair again because I know for sure that I'm going to end up going black back black because black is just a color that I love that looks I think it looks nice on me um yeah so I tried it I try, I'm all over the place in this video that's because listen I miss y'all so we just gonna have a whole full conversation grab your wine grab your tea whatever you need to do because we gonna be here for a minute um, what else was I want to say? Ugh, I sidetracked. What did I say? Oh, so, um, yes. Yeah, so, I was trying to color my hair on video for you guys. Honestly, it, it didn't work out because I was getting frustrated and it just wasn't recorded in time like it was supposed to. But, um, the reality of the situation is I colored my hair and I literally only left the bleach on my hair for 10 minutes. I did 20 and 30 developer. I did not go to 40 or anything crazy like that. So what I did was I used 20 to the lift the, like the little light spots and then I have like a few light pieces. You probably honestly can't really see it but I have maybe like four or five light pieces that I just double bleached and I still only left that in for about 10 minutes. So I didn't over process my hair or anything like that. And I also didn't want the bleach to pierce through my lock. I hope I'm making sense here. The reason why I didn't want to do that is because I think in my theory, now I don't know if I'm right, but in my mind, I was thinking if I bleached the outside of the lock, then maybe the inside of the lock will be able to hold it and if it, it won't break off is bad. So that's why I only wanted to bleach the outside of the lock. I hope that makes sense. So whenever you bleach your hair, just make sure that your hair is not wet. Because if so, then that means that the bleach is going to absorb inside of the lock. So that's another thing. So update, two year update, I, I cut my lock extensions. I colored my hair. Um, yeah, and everything is great. Like I can't wait to just really enjoy this journey with you guys. And um, I'm still gonna be able to make lock extension videos because I do still have like little mini the mini pieces up in there somewhere. Um, but I also think it's just really important to educate you guys on lock extensions and or even if you plan on just adding your locks back, um, your natural locks that you cut off, adding them back into your hair. A lot of people do that too, you know, um, if that's something that you wanna do. Um, and then I also, yes, I did save them. I did save my the one locks that I cut. Um, I feel like I should go get those. Let me go get them. Okay, so here are, okay. So it's so funny because I was doing like test strands before I like colored my hair. Um, I, I would just, honestly, I just wanted to see because since I dyed my hair black, I wanted to see how fast it will start lifting and I didn't want my hair to lift too much. So um, yeah, so I was just like, just doing test strands for that specific reason. But yeah, so I have a whole bunch of locks here. <laughs> they're they're long, y'all. Like literally, like so, this is. I feel like this is a long lock, and they're all different lengths because the back of my hair was a little bit. The back of my hair was a little bit longer, so they're all like kind of different lengths and stuff. But I mean, I feel like you know, if I ever have a lock that maybe breaks off or something like that, I can just go bloop pop that right back on <laughs> you know what I'm saying so um yeah super excited I'm excited to do a lot of different styles for you guys I like to have fun I'm very like 
different for the most part <laughs> so i'm excited to do that and then also like i really want to make i want to change a lot on my channel well not really i i, I kind of want to do more vlogs let me know down below if you guys would even be interested in that because i feel like my, my i feel like my life is pretty entertaining i feel like i'm entertaining i don't really know how y'all feel but i think i'm i think i'm funny I, I, that's just what i think i'm kidding but I feel like I'm, I honestly, no, seriously, I feel like I am entertaining. So let me know if you guys would be interested in vlogs. Because that's the thing. Like, I feel like for me, when it comes to YouTube, for one, it's definitely, it's definitely oversaturated. But that doesn't give an excuse to not post. I feel like for me, like, I can't be fake. Um, I can't, I don't just post content just to post content. I post stuff because I, I do it for me and because it's something that I love to do. Um... I don't want to get wrapped up in I don't even do sponsor videos or anything like that like I feel like I should start though because everybody out here get money but me but <laughs> anyway <laughs> I do feel like I do need to post more for you guys um especially when it comes to business related videos because it's a lot of trial and error and I have been on this journey for two years now with my business and it is definitely growing and taking off and I'm just excited to see where it's going to go but I want to take you guys on a journey with that with me um but yeah i feel like this video is becoming a lot i feel like i'm talking a lot so i'm just going to cut this video short but i just want to pop in and say i miss you guys and i will post another video here i don't know i'm gonna post another video this week because why not why not right why not so make sure you comment down below maybe i'll do a video of me uh, taking out my Bantu knots because I feel like there is not a lock video on or is it Bantu knot lock out type of video um whatever like I said I, I, I'm I'm going left with this whole thing so I'm gonna let you guys go but make sure you leave a comment down below and you guys know what I always say do this bye guys Running on a hamster wheel But searching for something I can't feel I just want out